Hi, Steve here from postprocessingmastery.com and in this video I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how you can get started blending exposures with luminosity masks without using any extra plugins or uh, downloadable actions or anything like that. So this is like really an introduction to creating luminosity masks the manual way. And for me this is uh, my favorite way to uh, to do this because it's built into Photoshop, you know, so there's no need for any extra stuff. And, you know, once you get comfortable using these techniques this way, then uh, for me, I personally find that it's easier and quicker uh, to actually get the exact masks that you want to do, the exact tasks that you need to do um, in Photoshop. So just before we get started, there's a link below this video. And when you click that, you'll be able to go and download my free guide, An Introduction to Luminosity Masking. So that's a downloadable PDF and there's also another video attached to that so you can download the PDF and you know read through the written examples and instructions with screenshots and whatnot and like I said there's also another accompanying video available with that download. Feel free to uh, go and check that out once you've finished watching this video but in the meantime let's crack on with the tutorial. What we've got on the screen at the moment is two exposures. I've taken these shots pre-dawn so you know, it's really dark obviously and you know the fact that I've got these really dark rocks in the scene is uh, you know it's not helping the situation given that I've got a bright sky against these really dark rocks so what we've got uh, is this exposure here which is a little bit brighter so that we've tried to expose the rocks um, you know tried to get some detail in those rocks without them being too shadowy I mean they're still still quite dark I wanted to have this image uh, look quite dark, you know, to represent the fact that it was taken pre-dawn. So, you know, I haven't gone overboard brightening these rocks up, but this is the first exposure. And obviously the sky is just way overblown. And then I've got this darker exposure on top, which is good for the sky. So this is about how I want the sky to look, but obviously the foreground here has just gone way too dark. So the really simple steps to blending these two exposures together is to do the following. So first of all, I'm going to hide this dark exposure so that we've revealed the bright exposure again. And then I'm going to click on the channels panel and I'm going to hold on the keyboard command on a Mac or control on a PC. And I'm going to click the RGB channel. So I'll click that once. And with that done, we should see some marching ants in the screen and we do. So we know that that selection has become active. Now we're going to come back over into the layers panel. We're going to reactivate this uh, top darker layer. And then I'm just going to click the new layer mask uh, icon down here. So I'll click that. And there we can see we've essentially blended the brightest parts of this top exposure with the darkest parts of this bottom exposure. So if I just toggle this layer off and on again a couple of times, you can see the effect that that's having. So we've brought that darker sky in to replace the, the bright sky, basically. So, you know, that really is, um, in a nutshell, how to create your first luminosity mask uh, to blend exposures. Now, I'll just give you another quick couple of tips on something that you can do to take this a little bit further. You know, you can do pretty much the same thing, um, not just with blending exposures, but also you can apply them to adjustment layers. So let me show you what that looks like. Let's, uh, in this scenario, let's say that we want to add a, um, a levels adjustment that is going to only affect the dark parts of the shot, or at least it's going to affect the dark parts more than the brighter parts. So essentially what we want to do is create a levels adjustment that's going to brighten these dark rocks, but it's not going to brighten the sky at the same time. So let's do that. What we need to do first is go into our channels panel again like last time so on the keyboard command or control click the RGB channel come back over into the layers panel and now from here with this selection active we're just going to go straight in to create a levels adjustment now when we do that the uh, the layer mask gets created automatically with that luminosity selection built into the layer mask so we can see that just down here in the layers panel. Now, 
this way around, like the, just showing, uh, just doing what I've shown you, what this gives us is a levels adjustment that can adjust the bright parts of the shot because that's what the luminosity selection is allowing us to do. So that's not exactly what I wanted to do. That is basically the opposite. So what we can do to uh, basically just flip that around is click once on the uh, on the layer mask there in the layers panel and on the keyboard hold command or control and press I and that will just invert the layer mask. So now instead of allowing this levels adjustment to only uh, affect the brighter parts of the shot, it's now affecting the darker parts. And now this allows us to adjust the shadows essentially without overblowing or overexposing the uh, brighter parts of the shot. But really this is a very powerful technique and opens up a whole lot of flexibility to the way you process your images. Um, you know, obviously we could go a lot deeper, but it probably goes beyond the scope of this intro style video. Now, like I said, if you wanted to go a little bit further and download my PDF guide, an introduction to luminosity masking, uh, then you can click the link below this video, or I'll see if I can make something pop up on the screen now uh, that you can click to go and get that PDF. And there's also another video that comes along with that. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments and um, yeah, head over, download that PDF to take the next step.